Drosophila flies and their use in research and class studies. We know that a number of uh, animal models are used uh, for research purpose, but Drosophila is a very popular one. Uh, more than 1600 species of Drosophila have been reported worldwide. So it is a genus uh, that uh, has a very high number of uh, uh, species. In our country, that is in India, uh, more than 150 species of this uh, genus are reported. Some of the species which are commonly found in natural conditions are Drosophila melanogaster, uh, Drosophila ananesi, Drosophila bipectinata, Miller cotyliana, Drosophila parabipectinata, Drosophila pseudoenanesi, Drosophila nasuta. And here also in our country, uh, Drosophila melanogaster is uh, one of the popularly used or commonly used uh, animal model. And we have hundreds of laboratories in our country where uh, this animal model is used for research purpose. And uh, there are certain universities where Drosophila flies are cultured and they are used for even class studies. Banaras Hindu University, its geology department is one of them where this animal model is used for BSc as well as MSc practical classes. Drosophila melanogaster, as I told, is a popular uh, species model or species animal is an extensively used species in the field of genetics, evolution, developmental biology, behavior, molecular biology, and disease biology. And hundreds of its mutants are known, and the genes causing such mutations are mapped on its different chromosomes, that is four pairs of chromosomes. Uh, the location of uh, all such mutant genes on the uh, autosomes and X chromosomes is well known. If we classify this uh, animal, then it's phylum Arthropoda. That is, it, it belongs to those groups in which a number of insects come, uh, crustaceans, uh, arachnids, millipedes, and centipedes all come under Arthropoda. So uh, being an insect, it also comes under phylum Arthropoda, its class is Insecta, order Diptera, uh, it is one of the orders under Insecta class which comprises a very large number of uh, insects. Its family is Drosophilidae, genus is Drosophila and the species which is maximally used for class studies and research purposes is Melanogaster. Now, why this animal model or Drosophila is most useful model uh, for genetical research? It is because of uh, its small life cycle. The uh, Drosophila flies, if cultured in the laboratory, they complete their life cycle in about 11 to uh, 10 to 11 days. And uh, during this uh, time period, one can see its uh, egg, uh, then larval stays, then pupal stays, and from pupae adults come out. So it takes hardly 10 to 11 days if they are being cultured at 25 degree Celsius. And that is actually this uh, constant temperature is required in the laboratory condition. It is quite easy to handle these flies. You can etherize them or you can make them sense senseless by using carbon dioxide or ether, and then you can easily manipulate or you can easily identify and do uh, some kind of you know uh, experiment with these flies. These flies can be cultured on simple food medium. Uh, males and females can be distinctly observed uh, among uh, the group of flies. So there exist distinct sexual dimorphism. Uh, these flies have less number of chromosomes. As I said, four pairs of chromosomes are present in them. And the total genome of Drosophila melanogaster and several other species um, has been sequenced. Then presence of polyteen chromosome is there, means such chromosomes are very large in size. So uh, one can 
observe the polythene chromosomes in these uh, you know uh, animals and then uh, availability of large number of mutants are there as i just cited that a number of mutants are known in Drosophila melanogaster and their position on different autosomes and sex chromosomes are known. Then uh, this uh, fly species is not known to uh, carry any disease, uh, you know, like uh, viruses and bacteria, uh, which may be carried by several uh, animal species. They are not, you know, carried by these flies. So they are not known to be vector of any disease. Now for preparing food, uh, you can uh, prepare food by taking these uh, materials or food ingredients for making one unit. Actually, we culture flies in the laboratories and we need a number of food bottles to culture them. So one unit of uh, food can be prepared by uh, taking these materials in the uh, amount uh, which is shown here. We need water, uh, 2400 ml for preparing one unit of food. And then agar agar, 36 gram, maize powder, 108 gram, yeast powder, that is 36 gram, then brown sugar, which is, you know, um, a sugar simply, but uh, its color is brown. And that needs uh, 96 grams, propionic acid, 8 ml, nipazine is antifungal agent, it is also required uh, um, ATML and uh, if you have to prepare less quantity of uh, food then you can accordingly uh, reduce the amount of these food ingredients. Then you can see the uh, males and females of these, uh, uh, this fly particularly Drosophila melanogaster see the male are little bit smaller than female female will have a protruding structure in the posterior part of its abdomen that is ovipositor and through this structure she is capable to lay eggs the abdominal segments are there the body gets divided into three portions this is abdominal portion this one is thoracic portion which is three segmented and then this is head portion the wings are seen upward uh, in this case in case of male the abdominal tip is very black and uh, here uh, you will find that this is structured if you see in the frontal view it will be almost round and slender whereas this one will be much pointed in the posterior end and in case of male in the first pair of uh, thoracic leg uh, sex comb will be present in the tarsus portion so based on the abdominal color pattern and the presence of sex comb we can identify its male individual the um, females are identified by the presence of abdominal sorry this uh, ovipositor then uh, if you see the uh, egg laid by a female it is white in color and you can see two filamentous structure on its anterior side uh, in uh, this uh, third star larva can also be clearly seen. It is uh, a structure which is uh, um, dull uh, cream colored structure and uh, on the anterior side you can see a black spot which is actually part of its uh, mouth part that is mandible and uh, uh, so the developing stages can be clearly observed. As I said that polythene chromosomes can be prepared uh, uh, from the salivary glands of uh, uh, salivary glands of the third star larva. So you can dissect uh, the salivary gland and then that will be stained uh, in acetocarbene or in lactoacetoorsin and then uh, you have to wait for some time and you squash it you would be able to prepare this polythene chromosome. But in this polythene chromosome, actually the centromere of all the chromosomes fused together, make a chromocenter. And then paternal and maternal chromosomes, they pair throughout the length. So uh, you can identify the X chromosome arm and the autosomal arms based on the bending pattern because each chromosome uh, arm will have a specific bending pattern and those who work on this uh, species they are 
very efficient one to identify individual chromosomes. You can also prepare metaphase chromosome um, from its uh, brain and that uh, from the female individual or a male one. And in case of uh, this male, you can see the first chromosome is in the form of X and Y chromosome. Then autosomes like second chromosome and third chromosomes could be there. And a pair of fourth chromosome, which uh, are very small in size, dart shaped, could be seen. In case of female also, uh, you can see the 2X chromosome, then second chromosomes, then third chromosome, and then fourth chromosome, which are very tiny. You can count the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 chromosomes are there. So 2N, that is equal to 8. Now, uh, as I said that a number of mutants are known, like hundreds and hundreds of mutants are uh, seen in case of Drosophila. So you can, sorry. So you can see these, uh, the first one here is wild type fly. It is a normal fly. And then uh, the next one is, uh, uh, this one is a white eyed, you know, um, fly in which you can see the eye is completely white in color. Then in this case, uh, uh, the eye is uh, um, this darker in color and that is sepia eyed fly. Here uh, rest of the features will be normal only this eye color uh, will be different instead of red it will be sepia eyed. You can see here in the wild type fly the eye color is red. Uh, in this mutant one it is white so it is white eyed. Rest of the features are normal but here in this case the eye color is sepia. Uh, that is uh, a dark uh, blackish uh, structure. It is not totally black, rather it is a dark uh, structure. So, and here the vestigial winged fly is there. Uh, the wings are not normal. Uh, you can see a fly having curved wing. So it is a curved winged fly. And then uh, a fly which is wingless. You can see a single wing here. Other wing is absent. In some cases, both wings may be lacking. So, you know, wingless flies, uh, such mutants are also found. Then in this diagram, you can see bar-eyed fly. Here, the eye structure is very reduced. Only few um, facets, eye facets or compartments are there. Uh, maybe just 100 or even less than that. And uh, uh, such kind of uh, bar-eyed flies are there. Yellow bodied flies means the body color will be yellow instead of gray. Here it is ebony body colored fly. The body color is actually not black, but it is in between black and then gray. So this is referred as ebony body colored fly. Here this fly is eyeless. If you see this one, it is having a normal eye structure, but this fly lacks eye. So it is eyeless mutant. In this case, you can see the antenna pedia uh, mutant fly. That is, uh, the antennae are found in the upper portion of the head, which are sensory structures. But because of uh, mutation and uh, developmental defect, there may be development of uh, legs in the place of uh, antennae, and such fly are antenna pedia mutant flies. So. As I said, a number of mutants are there and their um, genes causing such mutations, their locations have been known. If you see the genome size, uh, then uh, as I said that four pairs of chromosomes are there. So four chromosomes will be coming from one parent and four from other. So paternal, maternal chromosomes, they unite and make the number eight. And such chromosomes are differentiated as uh, uh, sex chromosomes and autosomes. A female will have 2X chromosome and three pairs of autosomes, whereas a male will have uh, XY chromosome and uh, then three pairs of autosomes. The total genome size that has been sequenced in case of melanogaster, and it is around 139.5 million base pairs number of genes protein coding genes are approximately 14,000 and uh, nearly 75 percent of uh, genes that cause disease in our case in humans are also found uh, in case of fruit flies so uh, this 
animal model has been used by researchers in the field of uh, genetics for a long time. Presently, it is being used by hundreds of persons uh, in the field of uh, developmental biology. Evolutionary biologists, they also use this animal model. And uh, now they are observing the phylogeny of uh, this, um, of a number of species of this genus. Even disease biology persons, they are using this model organism by creating uh, the knockouts uh, are different mutants of uh, uh, Drosophila melanogaster, which result into some kind of disease uh, related to uh, neural uh, aspects. And then they work on molecular aspects of such disease. So it is really of much significance.